security experts are visiting Brisbane schools to teach teens how to stay safe online. Classes are designed to help students make better choices about what they post on social media. Ursula Hager was in class. We all know teenagers can find it difficult to stay focused, but coming face to face with how others see them online certainly got the attention of these students. I access the students' Facebook pictures before I come to the school, purely through free Google searches and the name of the school. And I put some of those pictures up on the screen and it has an incredible effect. But we never realised how public uh, profiles really were. Celebrities continue to post much of their lives online, even those who have suffered cyber humiliation before. And it's a trend now seen as normal for a lot of Australian teenagers. There tends to be a lot of either group shots or single shots in like a really bland environment, so the main attention's on the person. But the experts tasked to teach our kids about online safety say it's not impossible for parents to keep their kids' private lives private with some simple rules. Putting those things in place uh, that they put in place with their kids in every other aspect of their life with time limits and you know where my kids are allowed to access particular programs, what they're allowed to say, uh, uh, what they're not allowed to say. Experts say the best advice for parents is to get involved, get your own Facebook and Instagram accounts and keep ahead of new trends in social media. They can't turn a blind eye to it, it is the reality, um, banning it just isn't the answer um, and one of the greatest challenges for all of us as adults is keeping up with young people. Some of whom are already starting to tire of social media. I just don't have like, Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Ursula Hager, 10 News.